Hi Explorers, I'm here today at a uh, abandoned for 13 years primary school here in Hamilton. Normally I wouldn't have any interest in this property being that it's just a boring standalone school and uh, nothing exciting about it, it's not in the flash area or anything like that. It is uh, Richmond Park Primary School, as I say it's been closed for 13 years. And uh, the reason I've come here today is um, I live nearby, I do walk the dog here. And uh, I've noticed that there has been um, new fencing and renovation work going on here when it's been dormant for 13 years. So um, I thought I'd just come and have a look, being that um, normally I wouldn't be interested, but it uh, could get demolished or put down. So um, hence why I'm before I come to have a look at this before I went. I'm starting with a swimming pool because this is where I first walk in, nearer to where I walk. Um, there's a changing shed in here. As you can see, there's two fences, so you've got to be a brave climber to get in here. That grass is really long, it's just nearly as tall as me. Here's another changing shed. A tag. You can see the decay on the swimming pool not being used for 13 odd years. Anyway, so moving on. Here's the pump house. Come we. Alright, so we're just coming up to the school now. There's some tagging. It's all bolted from the front. I had to make entrance through the gully in the rear where well, yeah, there's a walkway where I walk my dog. Let's uh, put a tag in there. Here we I believe this back half of the school has been used for a kindergarten, so it's not all completely dead. This part here is still used. There is a play centre in there. Only on these couple of classrooms. This half here has been fenced with temporary fencing for a very long time. It's not been used at all for 13 years. And there is the office for the kindy, which is still used. I believe the back part of this, they still come and mow the lawns at the front and the rear of the school. They still take care of it, although no students have been here for 13 years. So here, this part's untouched. So doggy can't get in. Come on, you can. Come on. Jump. Anyway. Okay, we've got to find a way to doggy to get in. He's getting, getting paranoid. Okay, doggy's in. So they've been keeping the upkeep up here. People have been tagging there and they've painted over. They've boarded it up. People have smashed all the windows out. That looks pretty sweet on its side for abandoned for 13 years. Well, abandoned but maintained, I guess you could call it. Alright, so these buildings tend to be used still, unto my knowledge. I looked in the window and they look like they're still used. I don't know where or when or how. I'm not seeing anybody here. We'll move on and we'll look at the hall. The hall's been broken into a few times. I'm actually surprised, it looks pretty okay. It's fine. It's all locked up tight and alarmed. So it's probably why it's not being as vandal as bad as what I thought it would have been. Anyway, nothing flash. Just quick, I thought I'd just show you around this, this school. It's not a flash school, nothing exciting. Just something I thought that might be worthwhile checking out. So, nothing flash. Something worth a look, because if it gets demolished, this could be the last video. And that was my intentions today.
to the field here looks and appears to be completely untouched. They still regularly mow this field. So there's that pool over there. Field still appears to be untouched. And this is the only way in. Since the school's been here, they've always had this walkway here where the dog's going here into the alleyway walkway, which you can actually get to the Waikato River from this walkway if you follow it and know where you're going. Yeah. So we come in. It will show you the rest of the school. Here's the front of the school. This is all brand new fencing. You can see a join up there. And they've got the temporary fencing in the back. That was at the front here. They still mow the grass, they still paint it, they still wash the roof. They still do all of that stuff, but no one's been there. Um, as soon as I noticed this new fence and new footpath here, I figured there's something going on in here. So, you know the school, that's what it looks like from the front. Like I say, nothing flash. Just like and subscribe if you like it. Um, some of you people from overseas and whatnot might think this is awesome looking at a New Zealand abandoned school. Locals like myself just think, ah, oh, it's just another boring school. You know, it wasn't anything exciting, but I think it needed documenting. That's it for today. Over and out. We'll see you again.